All right, this is a Robert Crannell Minor. All right, this kind of uh, American painting is, you know, kind of like what the American Barbizon uh, artists did. They made these sunset pictures. It's like a Blake Lock. It's a the dark sunset picture. So there is a lot of sunset um, uh, toned metally frames that were made for this period of, 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 of American landscape art that's really 1875, 1880 to about 1920. So Blake Lock would do pictures like this. So if this was a Blake Lock, um, it would be um, a, a much more expensive price point and I could get a finished frame in this exact size and pay and pay the price. This is an RC Miner, maybe it's $800, $1,200. I can't invest a big, a big expensive frame. I can't put a $1,500 frame on a $1,500 picture. It just isn't going to help me sell the painting. So I'm choosing something that can be sized and would look good on the picture. So I've chosen this metal leaf frame that I can size, all right? It is toned metal leaf. You notice that um, what they're going for in these gold frames, always gold frames on, on these pictures. You have to have a gold frame because gold is going to literally illuminate this picture. This is going to be, we have all these lights here. In period, everything is gas light, candle light, and the frame is here to capture the ambient light of the room and literally illuminate the painting. So when you have this scoop with this surface that's almost a mirror here, it's going to bring light, needed light, into the picture. Back to what I said about scale. You can see that the width of the molding carries the, the, the proportions of the painting. And even though I'm sizing it down, this scale of molding is going to be uh, happy with the, uh, the size of this painting. So this is, a, this is a frame that I can afford to, to size down. It's uh, basically a very you know, affordable frame that we can cut from my gilder and you're going to see the finished product. What we're doing is showing you before and then we're going to come back and we're going to refilm this and you're going to see the after on everything that I've done. And I hope you agree with my, uh, with my frame choices and you'll, you'll learn about the process of framing your art. Thank you very much. Now we're doing the after. This is the Barbizon Landscape by Robert Crandall Minor. Uh, it's a very dark picture, so I had to go with a reasonably bright frame that is toned. So what's important in, in this framing job, as I think I explained before, is we want to have enough mass on the painting. The profile should be of a certain size. If it's too small, it's going to look underframed. If it's too big, it's going to be lost in the frame. This is a good proportion. The plain scoop you don't want much ornament on this frame because the picture is so dark and you want to be brought into the picture. The carving on the outside is consistent with this date of the minor painting, which is about 1905 or so. Um, it's metal leaf, but it's, it's uh, beautifully made. It's a handmade frame out of my inventory for about $300. So $300 makes a, a gorgeous contemporary presentation. That is, the frame is as old as the painting for this, for this particular work. SusquehannaFrames.com. I'm now located in the Asheville, North Carolina area. Many of these frames can be shipped and returned if you're not happy with them. We have a very high success rate of pleasing our customers because we try to work hard to get every detail right.